In today's show, I'll be breaking down the latest technical analysis as Bitcoin aims strong recovery. I'll be sharing a key pattern for a short-term bottom. In fact, Bitcoin is forming a double bottom at this strong support, which is definitely a bullish indicator I'll be breaking down. I'll also be sharing with you the bearish scenario as the Bitcoin price could hit $29,000 next, warns CNBC. Chartmaster, that's right, we're talking about a 55% correction. Also in today's show, Binance Coin and four crypto assets could continue soaring higher, says the Wolf of All Streets, Scott Melker. That's right, the trader is expecting Binance Coin and four red hot crypto assets to continue their ascent after flashing bullish signals. Also, in today's episode, these five crypto assets are heating up, says trader Michael Van Day Pop. The closely followed crypto analyst is naming five altcoins within the decentralized finance space that he thinks has the potential to print massive gains. Also, in today's show, Tesla's abrupt Bitcoin reversal could be a game changer for BTC, according to Fundstrat analysts. Tom Lee. That's right. Fundstrat Global Advisor Managing Partner Tom Lee believes that Tesla's abrupt suspension of Bitcoin payments over environmental concerns could be a blessing in disguise for the flagship cryptocurrency. That's right. Despite Bitcoin recently losing 20% of its value due to the Tesla FUD, he upped his price forecast for the king of all crypto from $100,000 to now $125,000 by the close of 2021. I'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin is still correcting as Ethereum and some of the major altcoins are currently breaking out and in the green. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go next? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And before I kick off today's show, today's episode is brought to you by Femex, the fastest crypto exchange and futures trading platform where you can trade the top cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, Chainlink, Dogecoin, and Cardano with leverage. And they have a special promo running right now where you can receive up to a $2,000 trading bonus when you use my referral link in the description right down below. It's simple to get started. Simply click my link. It'll take you here. It'll only take you 30 seconds to register, make your deposit and claim your free bonus. You also notice the invitation code already pre-populated for you to take advantage of this. So what are you waiting for? Click the link right down below. Claim your free bonus of up to $2,000 and let's start stacking those sats shall we? All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. We have a lot to cover, so let's dive right in. Bitcoin price holds strong at $42,000 support. That's right, Bitcoin made another attempt to surpass that 42K and 42,150 support levels. However, the bulls were active above 41,500. The recent swing low was formed near $42,157. It seems like the price is forming a short-term double bottom pattern with support near $42,150. It recently started a steady increase above the 44 $4,000 resistance levels. There was a break above the 23.6 Fibonacci retracement level of the downward move from 49,000 high to $42,157 low. Now, moreover, there was a break above a connecting bearish trend line with resistance near 44,500 on the hourly chart of the Bitcoin slash USD pair, which you can see right here on your screen. Now, this is the bullish indicator when Bitcoin forms that double bottom. It signifies a very strong support at 42K. And at this time, Bitcoin's currently trading back up above $45,000. The first key resistance is near that $46,000 level. It is close to the 50% Fibonacci retracement level of the downward move from 49,827 high to that $42,157 low. Any more gains could lead the price towards 47,000. The 100 hour simply moving average is also sitting near $47,000 to act as a hurdle in the near term. Now let's discuss the bearish scenario. If Bitcoin fails to clear 45,046 resistance levels, there is a risk of a fresh decline and initial support to the downside is near the broken trend line and $44,000. So the main support is now forming near 42,150, the double bottom zone, the downward break below 42,150 and 42,000 support levels could spark another strong decline in the near term. So here are the technical indicators. The hourly MACD is slowly gaining pace in the bullish zone. The hourly RSI known as the relative strength index for Bitcoin is now above the 50 level and major support levels at 44,000 followed by 42,000 with a major resistance 
business levels at $45,000, $46,000, and $47,000. Now I want to discuss the possibility of the Bitcoin price hitting $29,000 next. I don't feel this is likely to happen, so I want to stress that. However, it's in the realm of possibilities, so I still want to cover it for you. Bitcoin could drop to $29,000 and still be testing current support in line with past dips, claims CNBC's chart master. In an appearance on the network's Fast Money segment on Monday, Carter Worth, chief marketing technician of Cornerstone Macro, warned that the Bitcoin bottom may be far from in. That's right, analyzing recent price activity and comparing it to the past Bitcoin bottoms, where it said that the current levels at around 45,000, which is where we're currently at, represent the top of the support zone. Quoting him right here, were we to go down 55%, we'd be in the lower end of the support. He summarized, I think we're in support, it's fighting, but my hunch is it goes lower. A 55% drop from the current all-time highs would mean Bitcoin bottoms out at just above $29,000. For worth, this is a useful reference point as 55% marks the average of every major price dip of 30% or more since 2011. As Twitter users noted, however, his calculations include events such as the 80% decline from all-time highs in 2017, a process that took over a year to unfold. Remove these and the average is more like 36%, just about where Bitcoin bottomed this week at about 42,000. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you feel that Bitcoin could reach $29,000 low or do you feel that the bottom is in and we will climb from here? Holla at your boy. And before I break down our next story of the day, Binance Coin and four crypto assets could continue soaring higher, says the Wolf of Wall Streets. Scott Melker, as well as these five emerging crypto assets are heating up, says trader Michael Van de Pop in the decentralized finance space, as well as Tesla's abrupt Bitcoin reversal could be a game changer for BTC, according to Fundstrat analyst Tom Lee. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. We can see Bitcoin correcting, trading at about 45000 We must maintain above that $42,000 double bottom support to maintain bullish momentum and continue climbing up from here. We have Ethereum up 0.3%, trading just above $3,500. XRP breaking out up 8.5%, trading at $1.65. Chainlink up 3%, trading above $40. And Binance Coin down 2%, trading at $524. All right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Crypto strategist and trader Scott Melker, better known as the Wolf of All Streets, says that he's expecting Binance Coin and four red-hot crypto assets to continue their ascent after flashing bullish signals. In a new strategy session, Melker tells his followers that he's keeping an eye on BNB B, as he believes Binance Utility Token can surge over 80% from its current price of $542. Quoting him here, we've got this other bull pennant in black, gray flagpole, extrapolate the target, $1,000. The trader is also watching the development of blockchain scaling solution Polygon, better known as Matic, which he says will likely continue its uptrend. Backed by the coin's strong fundamentals, he goes on to share, volumes increasing again and it's continuing up. It's absurd. But this is for fundamental reasons. They've got a ton of total value locked. People are using it. It's solving problems. It's a layer two solution. But I mean, this is crazy. How many of you are currently bullish on Matic? Let me know in the comments below. Another decentralized finance project that's on Melker's radar is his crowdfunding platform Polka Starter. According to the trader, he sees Polka Starter igniting a huge rally after breaking out against Bitcoin. Polka Starter looks amazing. Break, perfect retest, volume increasing after no volume. That should head up. That should head up for sure. How many of you are currently bullish on Polka Starter? Let me know in the comments below. An automated market maker Sushi Swap is on Melker's list as well. The crypto analyst maps out the key buy levels for Sushi as it targets a new all-time high of $23.40. He goes on to share, over here Sushi, nice breakout. Now you want to see it above $18.34. I would say otherwise, buy down here at $15.17 if it comes down again. The last coin is the centralized Oracle Network. Chainlink, better known as the missing link of the blockchain, one of the altcoins I'm most bullish on. Melker says Chainlink looks bullish against Bitcoin as it gears up to rally to 0.001, then 0.0012, and then 0.0016 from its current value of 0.00085. He goes on to share, it looks great. It came down here to 0.00037, retested, and it looks like it's heading up. I think Link looks fine. It looks kind of ready to go. It looks pretty good. That's right. I've been bullish on Chainlink for two years now. I picked up mine at less than $2, so I know I'm up 25x. If you're also bullish on Chainlink, the missing link of the blockchain, let me know in the comments right down below. And before I break down our next stories of the day, these five emerging crypto assets are heating up, says trader Michael Van de Pop. These are all in the decentralized finance space, as well as Tesla's abrupt Bitcoin reversal could be a game changer for BTC, according to Fundstrat analyst Tom Lee. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap, sent above $2.1 trillion with $193 billion in volume in the past 24 hours, and current Bitcoin dominance at a three-year low of 30 
39.8%, with the Ethereum dominance at 19.1%, and the Bitcoin market cap at $847 billion, with the Ethereum market cap at $406 billion. Now checking out the top gainers within the top 100, we have Matic up 28%, trading at $2.11. Synthetics up almost 25%, trading at $22.26. Telcoin up almost 18%, trading at $4.5 cents. Ave up 16.5%, trading at $654. And Sushi Swap up 14.5%, trading just under $20. And out of this list of the biggest gainers for the day, which altcoins in particular are you currently most bullish on during this bull run? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now checking out one of my favorite indicators, the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, shows we're currently rated a 21 in Extreme Fear. Yesterday was a 27 in Fear. Last week, a 61 in Greed. And last month, a 79 in Extreme Greed. And if you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, Extreme Fear can be a sign. Investors are too worried. That can be a great buying opportunity like we're witnessing right now. BTFD buy that freaking dip. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for a correction. All right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Closely followed crypto analyst Michael Van de Pop is naming five altcoins within the centralized finance space that he thinks has the potential to print massive gains. In a new strategy session focusing on Bitcoin pairs, Van de Pop starts off his list with Aave, saying that the money market protocol has entered a new bull cycle and is gearing up to blast off against Bitcoin. The trader says that Aave slash BTC could reach the 0.02 mark in the coming weeks or about a 300% rally from the last local low of 0.005. How many of you are currently bullish on Aave? Let me know in the comments below. Van de Pop's second hot DeFi coin is the centralized application launchpad, Avalanche, A-V-A-X, According to the trader, now that AVAX has completed its corrective move, a clear break above the 0.00081 area would ignite a strong rally for AVAX slash BTC. Quoting him here, we did see this big run up in the beginning of this year already. And since then, we've already got a huge corrective move. And as we've just discussed with AVE, we don't chase FOMO, fear of missing out. The exact same happened with AVAX as here. We can see that we've got a very harsh corrective move all the way down to the actual price reference point. The trader says that 0.0006 could be the ideal entry entry point for AVAX slash BTC to catch a ride possibly up to 0.0019 for a 216% gain. How many of you are bullish on Avalanche AVAX? Let me know in the comments below. The third DeFi coin on Van Day Pop's list is the Ethereum-based decentralized exchange, Kyber Network, KNC. The trader says KNC slash BTC is likely getting ready for a rally of at least 110% from its current value of 0.00006, quoting him here. So we're starting up a bull cycle just like we've been doing previously at the beginning of 2020. So KNC is looking ready for a continuation in which the target zone that we're looking at in this range is around 11,000 to 12,000 Satoshis. How many of you are currently bullish on Kyber Network? Let me know in the comments below. DeFi coin number four on Van Day Pop's radar is the centralized exchange Curve Finance, CRV. According to this widely followed crypto analyst, CRV is one of the more undervalued projects in the space and might be setting itself up for 132% gain against Bitcoin once CRV slash BTC breaches 0.0008. I'm looking at the next run towards 20,000 Satoshis, but we're also looking at a new bull run for Curve, which can just continue running as long as the trend remains there. How many of you are currently bullish on Curve? Let me know in the comments below. The last DeFi crypto asset on Van Day Pop's list is automated yield generator, Yearn Finance, known as YFI. From his perspective, a giant 142% rally is likely brewing in YFI slash BTC, with 0.99 being the launch pad and 2.8 in the target. Also like to point out that YFI recently reached an all-time high of $94,000 and may be the first crypto to breach that six-figure mark. Quoting him here, especially given the fact that YFI is also making those higher highs and higher lows at this stage, I think we are just starting a new parabolic advancement. And given the fact that AVE in itself is running significantly, those are the five that I'm looking at. So out of this list of these five bullish DeFi altcoins, are you bullish on any? Holla at your boy in the comments below. And before I break down our final story of the day, Tesla's abrupt big Bitcoin reversal could be a game changer for BTC. According to Fundrat analyst Tom Lee, he also recently upped his Bitcoin price prediction for this year. But before I break this down, first I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 785 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including my daily letter, which goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day. To subscribe, visit letter.cryptonewsletter.com. Net. Also have a blog I update daily, which could be found at CryptoNewsJust.com. Also be sure to smash that subscribe button right below this video in the description to receive daily 
premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. You can also find me on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify, the home of the Joe Rogan experience, to Apple's iTunes. You can also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Crypto News Yes. And for those of you active on Facebook, I do have a private crypto Facebook group entitled Crypto Alchemy. To join it, click this link, request to join. I'll be sure to plug you in. And for those of you on Telegram, I do have a private crypto Telegram chat, which is uncensored. To join it, click this link. You'll automatically be added. And I'm looking forward to connecting with you personally on the inside. And for those of you on TikTok, be sure to follow me there. All right, now let's break down our final story of the day. Fundstrat Global Advisor Managing Partner Tom Lee believes that Tesla's abrupt suspension of Bitcoin payments over environmental concerns could be a blessing in disguise for the king of all crypto. In a new interview with Insider, the research firm executive argues that the development could make the leading digital asset friendlier to the environment as the industry seeks solutions to Bitcoin shortcomings highlighted by Tesla. Quoting him right here, I don't think it's going to get people negative on Bitcoin, but it's going to get people to focus on the problems that are being created by digital assets. It is probably better to view it as a call of action for the Bitcoin industry to focus on renewables or more efficient ways to provide proof of work. In last week's announcement, Tesla expressed concerns over the surging use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining, as well as transactions. The electric car maker promised also that it would resume accepting Bitcoin payments once the issue is resolved. Checking out this tweet from Elon Musk. Now, we all know this is nothing more than FUD. Elon slash Tesla accepts subsidies from the government, which allows the government to control them with this type of FUD. And they know that they cannot control Bitcoin. So the next best thing, they control the influencers of Bitcoin, which this was all FUD engineered from the very beginning. It's very easy to see. But anyways, uh, Elon tweeted, Tesla suspended vehicle purchases using Bitcoin. We're concerned about the rapidly increasing use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transactions, especially coal, which has the worst emissions of any fuel. But for the keywords right here, Tesla will not be selling any Bitcoin. Now checking out some of the comments Pompliano wrote, Elon, you realize that 75% of miners use renewable energy, right? This energy story has been debunked over and over again. That, my friend, is a fact. We have Preston Push wrote, uh-oh, does someone get yelled at by the government who pays you massive subsidies so you can stay in business each quarter? Facts. And checking out this response from statistician Willie Wu, in a world where 6.5% of the GDP is spent on subsidizing fossil fuels, and Tesla decides to drop support for the Bitcoin network, which incentivizes clean energy production, even when the network runs on 70% renewables and scavenges waste energy. Now for the main event we've all been waiting for. Despite Bitcoin losing about 20% of its value since Tesla halted its use as a means of payment, Lee has upgraded the flagship crypto's price target by 25%. That's right, from his initial forecast of $100,000, the fund strat managing partner and head of research now expects Bitcoin to hit $125,000 by the close of 2021. I repeat, he expects Bitcoin to now hit $125,000 before the end of this year. Do you agree with Tom Lee? Let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below. Also like to point out that the Stock to Flow X model predicts a $288,000 Bitcoin price before the end of this year. And Max Kaiser predicts a year-end target of $220,000 per BTC. Which prediction do you feel is most likely to occur? Let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below. Now for a quick recap, what I cover with you right here in today's show. I shared the latest technical analysis as Bitcoin aims a strong recovery. I shared with you a double bottom, which is forming, which shows us a strong support and is bullish for the king of all crypto. I also shared with you a bearish scenario that the Bitcoin price could hit $29,000 next, Warren CNBC, Chartmaster. Also in today's show, I shared that Binance Coin and four crypto assets could continue soaring higher, says the wolf of all streets, Scott Melker. Also in today's show, I shared that five emerging crypto assets are heating up in the decentralized finance space, according to crypto trader Michael Van de Pop. Also in today's show, I shared that Tesla's abrupt Bitcoin reversal could be a game changer for BTC, according to Fundstrat analyst Tom Lee. So where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Let me know in the comments right down below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And real quick, before I go, I want to give a special shout out to Femex, the fastest crypto exchange and futures trading platform where you can trade the top cryptos, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, Chainlink, Dogecoin, and Cardano with leverage and have a special promo running right now where you can receive up to a $2,000 trading bonus by using my referral link in the description right down below. Once you click it, it'll take you here. You'll notice the invitation code already pre-populated for you to take advantage of the special bonus. So what are you waiting for? Click the link right 
down below, claim your free bonus of up to $2,000. Let's start stacking those stats, and I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.